Now, let's move on to our next chapter. The chapter name is How to Start. Outline of this chapter includes the following. Starting T-Grid. Graphics user interface. Importing files. Exporting files. Reading the mesh. Display grid. Mesh quality. If you are using T-Grid on Windows operating system, then T-Grid can be started by either of the two ways. One, one can use command prompt. In command prompt, just type T-Grid 3D so that the T-Grid will be started. Two, through program menu, that is, click the start button. Select the all programs menu. Select the answers menu and then select the T-Grid program. You can also use T-Grid on Linux operating system. To start T-Grid, type T-Grid 3D in the command line of an XTERM window. When T-Grid starts, it will display a text window and the main menu bar. This is called the console window. T-Grid will ask for the T-Grid version to be executed. Following versions are available with T-Grid. A. 3D B. Custom C. Executable D. Host E. Listen Custom option prompts you for a version that is not in the menu. Executable option sets the name of the program to be run. The default is T-Grid. Host sets the machine and username on which T-Grid is to be run. Listen option tells Cortex to wait for a specified period of time for a T-Grid session to start up instead of starting T-Grid itself. Graphical User Interface or GUI is a type of user interface that allows users to interact with electronic devices through graphical icons and visual indicators. The graphical user interface or GUI is made up of four main components that is console, control panels, dialog box and graphics window. Console It is a main window that controls the execution of the T-Grid. The console contains a terminal for the text user interface and a menu bar for the graphical user interface. All textual output from the program is printed in the terminal and all typing is displayed on the bottom line. One can interact with T-Grid through the console in either of the following ways. A. Graphical User Interface or GUI or B. Text User Interface or TUI. The menu bar contains menu items arranged in a logical order. Each menu item consists of pull-down menus. To select any item from the pull-down menu, do the following. 1. Click the pull-down menu using the left mouse button. 2. Move the pointer to the item you want to select and click. 3. Release the left mouse button. Dialog box. This box is used to display message to the user. The different types of dialog boxes are Error dialog box. Used to alert for an error that has occurred. Information dialog box. Used to report some information to user. Click OK to close the box after reading information. Question dialog box. Used to ask questions to the user. This needs to be answered. Working dialog box. This box appears when T-Grid is engaged in performing some operation. This dialog box closes automatically. 
warning dialog box. Use to display some warning and ask whether to proceed further or not. Select file box. Allows to select file for reading or writing purpose. Panels. Panels mostly perform input tasks. Each panel is designed to perform different tasks. Some panels allow the user to make necessary changes and immediately close it. OK applies any changes you made to this panel and closes the panel. Cancel ignores the changes you made to this panel and closes the panel. Some panels should be kept open even after making the necessary changes in order to make some more changes if needed. Apply applies any changes you made to this panel but does not close it. Close closes the panel. Graphics display window. Graphics display windows are separate windows that display the graphical output of the program. Use of the display options panel enables the changing of attributes of the graphics display or opening the another display window. Layout under display options panel controls the display of captions, axis and the color map in the graphics display window. Tgrid allows to import mesh generated by some CAD softwares. The files are imported into Tgrid either by using menu items such as import or by using text commands. The mesh files can be imported from softwares like ANSYS PREP 7 slash CDB, CGNS, ANSYS FIDAP, Gambit, HyperMesh ASCII, IDS Universal, Nastran, Patran, and STL. For example, to import a Nastran file, through menu item, select file, then import, then Nastran. Select surface to read a surface mesh or select volume to read a volume mesh. Through TUI commands, select file, then import, then Nastran surf mesh or select file, then import, then Nastran wall mesh. Importing multiple files. Tgrid enables the user importing multiple files at a time. To do this, use File Import menu. Select the desired file from the list and click OK. Then you can use the appropriate TUI command. Example File Import ANSYS Surf Mesh and specify the names of the files to be imported. Appending multiple files. Appending of multiple files is possible using File Import menu and enabling Append files in the Select File dialog box and importing the necessary files. The way this process is done is shown. Tgrid mesh file can be exported which can be read by HyperMesh, Nastran, Patran and ANSYS. Exporting Nastran file. Through menu item, select file, then export, then Nastran. Through TUI commands, select file, then export, then Nastran and then specify the name for Nastran file. A mesh file includes a list of the node coordinates, boundary faces, and sometimes interior faces and cells. Tgrid can read either of the following. Mesh file. It can be either a Tgrid mesh file or Gambit mesh file. 
boundary mesh file. It contains only surface mesh information. Domains file. A domain file is the domain section of the mesh file. It contains a list of node, phase and cell zone IDs that comprise each domain in the mesh. The domain file has an extension of .dom. A mesh can be read in TGrid in either of the following ways. Through menu item, select file, then read, then mesh. Select file, then read, then boundary mesh. Select file, then read, then domains. Through TUI commands, select file, then read mesh and specify the file name or select file, then read case and specify the file name. Select file, read boundary mesh and then the file name and lastly select file read domains and then the file name there are some read options available in tgrid while reading the mesh these options are only available through tui commands go to file read options following options are available enforced mesh topology it orients the phase zone consistently while reading the mesh. Check read data. It checks the mesh topology while file reading. In case of error, the warning message is displayed and entities causing error will be deleted. You can also read multiple mesh files one by one instead of reading all of them at a time. This process is called as appending the mesh files. To do so, read in the first mesh file using the select file panel. Reopen the panel and enable append files check button and read the remaining files one by one. Appending multiple files. Appending of multiple files is possible using file, read, mesh menu and enabling append files in the select file dialog box and importing the necessary files. Appending files through TUI command. Appending is also possible through TUI commands as below. Select file, append mesh and then the file name. A grid can be displayed using display grid panel to display nodes, faces or cells. Various options available with face display are all, free or multiple or quality. One of the examples is shown here. In phase quality range, different quality criteria are available under Quality Measure tab. The default method for quality criteria is skewness. The other mesh quality criteria can also be checked under Quality Measure tab. Grid display using option Multi will display the mesh having multiple intersections using yellow color. The Bounce tab in Display Grid option is useful in setting upper and lower limits of a bounding box in X, Y and Z directions. The ranges can also be set using Neighborhood option by specifying the object name that is cell, phase, node or zone and a distance from an object.
The quality of the display can be controlled through Attribute Settings options. Edges to display edges of an object. Filled to display faces of an object filled with colors. Lights to display an object with lights turned on. Circumcircles, labels or normals to display object with circumcircles, labels or normals. Colors it colors the geometry by zone type or ID. Lights. It enables control of lighting effects in display. Rendering. Changes rendering options. Styles. Changes coloring styles for edges, nodes and faces. Tools which can be used for inspecting mesh quality. For plotting phase distribution. Select Display, Plot, Phase Distribution. For plotting cell distribution, select Display, Plot, Cell Distribution. Either the distribution can be plotted in the Graphics Display window or printed in the Console window. Quality of mesh ranges from 0 to 1, where 0 represents a good element and 1 represents a bad or degenerate element. The distribution can either be plotted in graphics display window or printed in console window.